Hey guys, in this video we're going to use Lightburn to create a module for a matrix panel that'll consist of 100 pixels so I can um, build a larger, say, 2000 pixel uh, matrix panel and be able to swap out modules when LEDs blow instead of attempting to fix it while it's on the actual panel. I can just swap out an, a 100 pixel panel and then fix the panel later on. Um, what we'll do is we'll start with just making a pixel hole. We want the pixel hole to be about 11 millimeters. The pixels themselves are 12. So 11 millimeters is pretty good sizing in the um, core flute that I'm using. You could change this to whatever size you want, but 11 mil is good enough. Um, so we need to make 100 of these and we want say one inch spacing. So what we'll do is we'll use the array tool here and then um, we have columns and rows. So we want 10 columns and 10 rows. That'll give us a total of 100 pixels. So now we've got 100, there's your count there. Um, it's 326 by 326 in size. So I want to do an outline cut and I want half an inch on each edge. So when I join two together, I have one inch spacing when I Put them all together so 326 will add 24 mil there's your spacing there so 24 mil is roughly an inch um, you can change this you could make it smaller more denser or you could sp spit it out to you know 48 which will be two inch spacing but i want one inch spacing in this video so we'll just stick with 24. Um, it was 326 by 326. So what we want to do first is um, Control G. We'll group those so they can't be used independently. And the size of this is 326, which will show up here. We'll lock that so it can't be moved. Now we want to create the outline cut. So we'll make a square. And we'll just unlock that quickly. And we'll make this 350 by 350. And we'll just lock it again. And then now we have a square. So I want to center these two together so I have it perfectly around it. So the easiest way to do this is just highlight them both and then come up to a range, go to a line and just go align centers. Now they're perfectly centered together. So that'll give me half an inch spacing around the entire thing. Now I can group those together by hitting Control G, and then now they're grouped together and they won't move around independently by accident. Um, so now I can send this to the laser to be cut out and then push the pixels in. Uh, with your laser, I'm using an, uh, a diode laser that has 10 watt optical power. You will have to adjust the cut settings for your laser. Um, the layer, the, like the pass counts and the strength of the laser and the speed. Uh, make sure your mode's set to line. You don't want to, you, you want to cut, so that's line. And then we'll send this to the laser and I'll push some pixels through it and then we'll have a look what it looks like on the other side of it all. So here we go, I've made two of the modules. 100 pixels each, which makes it really easy to swap out. So if I have a blowout on one, I can just basically replace that single module. And then I can fix the, the broken lead later on. And I can stack them, go as many as I want can make the matrix larger, I can make it smaller, and just do the adjustments in X lights to suit. And there, yeah, that's my modular idea I'm doing next or this year for the Christmas lights. And with any luck, it works out really good. I can just make a bunch of these. And then um, when I want to pack it all up, just pack them up like that. I'm thinking of maybe mounting them in mesh with one inch spacing for the holes. Just a matter of finding something that'll work with it. But I'm sure I'll come up with something. 
but that's the main idea anyway. So now we want to make the matrix from the modules in X lights. So we need to create a matrix. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make it one string and then 100 nodes and then 10 zigzags. So that will give us the module. So now we want to copy this and make a few copies of it. And then we'll just drag them into place. We won't worry about doing anything too crazy. Obviously you're going to line these up a lot better when you've got the time to do it. But just for an example here, we'll say that'll do. You know, maybe just enough to see. So now we've basically got a bunch of the modules, 12 of them. Um, we want to control all to select them all. Right click them and go create group from selections. And we'll just call it matrix. Now we have them grouped. So we can go to the sequencer and we'll add that matrix as a display element. You know, can't see that because I'm on a second monitor, but I'm just adding it as a display element. So now it pops up here. Now, we'll just drag an effect onto that. And there you go, as you'll see it, it's basically a matrix created from 12 modules. So we can swap out those modules whenever we like. You can make it bigger, smaller, um, pretty much do whatever you like. Another thing you can do here is um, what I'm going to do is I've got a double gate. So I'm going to have one half of the matrix on one side of the gate and the other half on the other side so I can still open the gate. And I'll have it um, go to the control box with two ports, one for each side. When the gate's closed, the matrix will look normal, but I can still open the gate and use the gate and you won't notice it. With a single large matrix to put it on a gate that opens you would need to say cut it in half and then wire it up in a particular way um, it can be done but it's just um you know it's it's a little bit of messing around uh, with this modular idea you can build uh, a mini matrix either side and then put them into a group um, you can add more pa more panels or less panels to the size of your gate um, and as long as you keep it even on both sides of the gate, um, when you group it all together, it'll just look like a normal matrix from the street.